just the, the season that we've been in and where we're going and just some of our vision, but also our build to reach. And so I thought um, it might be good just to kind of address some of those issues so that we've got a bit of a sense of where we're going. We're not just kind of floating in the water, uh, waiting for things to kind of kick back in, but we're actually uh, got a sense of uh, direction and purpose um, in Christ uh, for this season. And so our vision, um, reaching people, transforming lives is still just as alive in my heart as I'm sure it is in yours. Um, the call of Jesus is to go and make disciples. So in that sense, I'm really excited about our new uh, Zoom focus group in this season uh, using the Purple Book, which is going to be, um, many of you would have got that message, and we've got around about 20 people that are ready to start that this Monday. And so that's going to be a really important way of continuing to meet together and grow uh, in the Word of God, being able to um, be fed in that sense, um, outside of the our Sunday online gathering. Um, and so that's that's important. If you still haven't registered for that and you want to be involved, it's not too late. But um, obviously our online meetings have been great in, in one sense. It's good that we've been able to continue to share the Word of God together in this season and to continue to grow spiritually. Though, like you, I'm feeling the uh, the difficulty of not having face to face. In fact, I met with a couple of people and was able to pray and that beautiful presence of the Holy Spirit that, that is with us always, but there's nothing like where two or more gather, is there? And so I'm really hoping that in this next season uh, to come, in fact, in the next two to three weeks, I'd imagine restrictions are going to start to lift a little bit. And what we'll see is probably gatherings of up to 10 people uh, will be allowed. And so what I'm hoping we can do is um, get a couple of volunteers, people who are willing to host a small group on a Sunday. So we might gather, say, at 10 o'clock if a, someone like Peter and Linda Dean or Robin Emily King or you know, Mel and Craig Stevens or any other person, Janet, um, anyone who's willing to um, host a focus group, sorry, a, a church group online. We gather around about 10 a.m., have some fellowship. People could bring their own food. Um, there might be opportunity just for some chit-chat, um, the sharing of communion, and then we'd watch online church from 10.30 together uh, in those small groups. And so we could rotate some of those groups, go to different homes and different mixes of people from week to week. But I imagine for a season we'll be able to do that. So it's really important. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is um, just address also our, our build to reach. So coming out of COVID-19 as we move forward over the next kind of six months or so, um, as those restrictions lift, um, we are still just as committed. We really believe in what the Lord has said to us as a community that now is the time to get our own facility our own building so that we can uh, run ministries for, you know, families and, and young people and uh, individuals of every demographic, reaching them with the good news of Jesus and with practical love and support. That's what ministry is, meeting the needs of others. And so we want to be able to be more responsive. So to do that, we, we need a building and we've felt that that step is necessary this year. So I'm really believing in faith, even though, even though we've been in a difficult season, and we've been separated, that in our coming together, moving forward, God is going to meet us. And I really do have faith for the right facility, for the right building. And so I just want to encourage you um, to continue to give to Build to Reach. If you made a pledge uh, earlier this year to um, continue to seek God on that and, um, you know, continue to give as you feel led. Uh, towards that. And so that, that uh, total is still climbing, which is good. We're sitting around about uh, $45,000. It's about a $15,000 increase since the beginning of this year. We did have some funds in there prior to that. And um, so my hope is that as we get towards our 120 uh, mark, our $120,000 mark, that we will have the funds there to renovate and to set up a space and to you know get go into our meetings uh, strong 
uh, towards the end of this year. So that's my hope. Um, you know, obviously a lot of that's dependent on um, you know our collective um, approach to that and our giving. And um, but I'm really confident that God has something for us in this season that is um, quite special, and it's going to set us up for our future and for everything that lies ahead. So reaching people, transforming lives where, um, you know, to such a, a beautiful um, season that lies ahead, I really do see for us. And so I just encourage you, pray, um, read the word, uh, give a friend a call, be in some form of fellowship in this season. And I'm really hopeful that soon, as I said, we can meet in those watch parties, those small groups on a Sunday, and that'll give us a chance to um, fellowship uh, at a deeper level than what we've been able to in this season. So I hope you're well praying for you. And, um, yeah, make sure that if you have a need, reach out, uh, let us know. Um, you know, I can come and do uh, home visits and, and pray with people individually, but would love to hear from you. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bless you. Bye.